Right, next I'd like to introduce the disrupting uh, claims F null and validation using video technology. And we're really delighted to have Sitecall showcase their amazing products in this section. Um, uh, never have digital and remote assessment solutions had more relevance than today in our, in our lock, lockdown world. Um, but there's no doubt at all uh, in my mind that, that video capture and, and integrated solutions are going to play a huge part in claims validation as, as we move beyond COVID and lockdown, uh, now that we're really seeing the capability of them and how they can work in practice. Um, uh, I'm delighted to introduce Richard Forsyth, the sales director at, at Sitecall, who's going to talk us through their solutions. Richard, welcome. Thank you, Stuart. Good to be here. Brilliant. Can, can you just give us a, a, a quick overview of Sitecall and, and, and what you guys do? A absolutely. Yeah. So, um, so Sitecall is a, a, an enterprise grade uh, video cloud platform uh, that can integrate into your uh, existing claims management system uh, or CRM systems. You know, we operate across insurance, customer service, field service. So we have a broad range of, um, of customer engagements. Um, but specifically uh, within insurance, uh, we're really there to try and, uh, you know, replace some of the on-site visits with live video. Um, and ultimately, that's, that's going to shorten the claim life cycle, uh, improves the efficiency of the adjuster networks, uh, and ultimately reduces the cost to, to process a claim, all of which will improve the customer satisfaction and, and ultimately their loyalty. Brilliant. Uh, I know we're going to see much more of that in the course of, of, of the session. Um, I, I, I'm just going to take, take you to a, a short video that showcases what Sitecall do now um, uh, so we can, we can have a, a, an active look at, at the solution. To provide a faster, smarter claims experience, all you need is Sitecall. Integrate the world's leading AR-powered video support solution into your claims platform to shorten the claims lifecycle, increase adjuster productivity, and collect the necessary data you need without ever going on site. When accidents happen, there's a more efficient way to resolve the issue. Start a live video session with your policyholder. Pause the live stream to take a photo of the damaged property. Activate geolocation to verify the site of the claim and address of the policyholder. Use optical character recognition to scan the barcode of the product, verifying the make and model. Co-browse to help the policyholder find a replacement. When the policyholder is satisfied, collect signatures on any relevant documentation. Expedite customer payments so compensation is received quickly by the policyholder. Using Sitecall, you can satisfy the claim without ever visiting the policyholder's home, providing a better experience for the customer and greater efficiency for the adjuster. The Sitecall app works alone or integrated into your claims platform, saving you time, resource and money. Video calls can be initiated through your web or mobile application, chatbot and more. Digitally transform your claims process with Sitecall. Right, that was fascinating, Richard, and really gives us a, a, a sort of a, a good sense of, of how the product works. Uh, what's always interesting in, in, in this constantly evolving insurance world is, is who should be interested in buying claims tech products? Who, 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 what customers are you aiming at? What segments of the market should be looking at Sitecall? It's, it's interesting, actually. So Sitecall are working with some of the world's largest insurers, so Allianz, AXA, AG, um, Sedgwick, for one that doesn't start with an A. So, uh, but, you know, but also, you know, right through the fulfillment system. So whether that's, whether that's uh, at the start of the customer journey, so the underwriting section, whether it's through the claims process, uh, but also then in, down into the fulfillment activity with, with downstream providers there. Um, so another area that we're working through now is actually, is, as well as live assistance services, is introducing some, some self-serve aspects um, along, alongside to augment that, that part of it. Um, and and if, we, if we dig into that in a bit more detail, so if we take the example of onboarding a new customer um, and underwriting the, the associated risk, so looking at how that would work traditionally, you would send out a, a risk a risk expert would go out to check that you know the commercial property 
to, to properly understand what, what the risks were. Um, however, now the amount of data that's available, so whether that's checking construction plans, uh, building regs documents that have been signed off, checking if there's been flooding in the area in the last 10 years, you know, the classic kind of questions that would, would run through, a lot of that's already known. However, you do still need to confirm certain variables um, in relation to things like the technology that's deployed, whether it's got alarm systems for fire, for, for theft. Um, and so a lot of that can be done now by the policyholder themselves and then escalate to, a, to an expert um, as required. So if we were to look at an example of, of how that could potentially work, um, and we, we can see that example as we run through now. Um, so your system as a policyholder is going in and self-serving and, 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 and asking to, to have uh, this, this, uh, this risk assessment. Your system can then send out uh, an automated invite to that policyholder, which is requesting them, uh, in this case, uh, an alarm system. So do you have an alarm system at site? Um, the po policyholder will receive that request on the smartphone or tablet um, and then follow the instructions. So whether that's um, looking, at the, uh, looking at the alarm system, uploading a product code, that product code then gets sent into the insurer's back office system and updates their records in line with that particular um, property. So you can understand what type of alarm system it is. You then leverage your, your AI and your experience to say, is that alarm system one that we've had to pay out a lot on? Is it, is it the, the leading brand, in which case we can offer a policy, uh, it's a lower risk policy, and therefore we can offer that at, at a better uh, commercial offering to that policy holder. Added to which, throughout all of this, you're then building up your digital inventory. So you know that you've got uh, a digital image of a particular type of alarm system that's actually physically installed in that property. Um, and that ultimately then just by delivering that reliable real-time connectivity between your, your back office systems and your policy holders, Cycle can help accelerate that, that onboarding process and do it much more efficiently. And obviously leveraging that digital information, such as imagery, you know, you can do image recognition, you can, you can apply machine learning AI to the, to the details that you're capturing, means you can make the right decisions quickly. That's, I'm sorry. That's really fascinating, Richard. I kind of, I kind of, what, what's, what I hadn't, wasn't aware of, that it's actually an end-to-end -end insurance solution, effectively, and not just a claim solution, where it can capture the risk details, enable uh, underwriters to assess and validate risk profiles, and then when claims happen, retrospectively refer back to that information to make sure everything's covered and as it should be. So it can work as an end-to-end -end, uh, self-serve solution for the customer. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean... Claims is an area that we, it's a use case that the industry knows very well. It's certainly something that us at Cycle have been, have been talking about for years. And I think lots of organizations are now using desk-based video-enabled adjusters as their default for, certainly for the majority of their high-volume, low-value claims. Um, but where you've already followed a digital onboarding process, so you've already captured that information in your systems up front, you can accelerate that, that claim validation by using that data already. So you already know what's at that site, so you can make a, a much better decision on whether, whether something is covered or, or not and, and what is in scope for that, for that claim. But then also from a downstream perspective, you know, in the fulfillment side, and this is ultimately your time to shine as an insurer, you know, you're getting your policy holder out, out of trouble. Whether that's a, a rapid cash settlement because you, you understand exactly what, what, has been, what has been insured, or by mobilizing your fulfillment networks and ensuring they know exactly what needs to be done, because again, you've got all of that information captured already, you know, that's, that's ultimately going to speed up that process. And you, know, you can use that, that same digital technology right through that process to fulfillment. So if, it's, if there's a variation at site, you can accelerate the approval of that works, um, but you can also keep the, the policyholder updated with you know, regular details and images of, of that restoration process that's happening. And ultimately, you speed up that restoration, you deliver it on time and on budget, and you'll keep the customer happy. I, I also, as a, as a sort of claims director uh, at times, 
find it quite exciting the prospect of going to a board looking for sign off of budget for, for new software when I can sit alongside the uh, the sales director and the underwriting director and the actuaries and say this is going to give value to all of us because actually you're far more likely to get the sign off than if claims go alone and say we'll make our claim solution better so so that sounds exciting um I guess uh, just there's always a show and that leads into there's always a show me the money thing with these things but both internally when when you want to get sign off to use software at board level and get the money get get the get the solutions paid for just give me a quick summary of of of, of the show me the money where's the value for, for your for your for your customers in this okay Show, show me the money. Okay, so that, yeah, it's a good question. I mean, ultimately, it, it, it's a business decision, isn't it? And, and I think Cycle, it focuses and, and satisfies three key areas in, in the insurance world. So firstly, around expense ratio, you know, it, it improves the expense ratio. Firstly, when you're looking at things like underwriting, but also the claims process, so you don't have to send adjusters out to site to, to satisfy a claim, which means you're saving on travel costs, and your adjusters can do more in the same period of time. So you're making a much more efficient use of your resources, which is obviously going to improve that cost ratio. Um, but you can also start to leverage whether they're, you know, more junior adjusters or even or even the policyholder in those in those lower value and, and higher volume claims. And then you leverage your experienced adjusters in the more complex. Uh, more expensive claims, and actually therefore make a much better use of, of those of those resources. So, so that's that's a key area. Secondly, if we look at the loss ratio, by leveraging things like live video connection with a with a, a policyholder who's making a claim, you can use features such as um, you know geolocate, and, and those things can actually feed into your your fraud prevention capability. So they can flag uh, you know draw flags there and. And your your uh, your fraud prevention team can actually then focus much more on um, identifying if there's a potential fraud issue on a claim. But you're also upfront done a more much uh, more accurate um, job of actually underwriting the property, the item, whatever it might be, so that actually you've offered the right policy in the first time in the first instance. And again, that's going to improve that that loss ratio. Um, and then finally, when we when we look at the, the customer satisfaction, that's a key area. Obviously, certainly from a you know from sales and, and, and underwriting perspective, that customer satisfaction. So, if you think about that being a key priority for a lot of insurers now, um, because it's a competitive environment, our customers can see things like the claims lifecycle reduced from days or, or potentially weeks down to hours. So, as we know, if you're speeding up the claims process, you're gonna you're gonna improve that customer experience. Um, you've got self-serve features. Again, that can accelerate that process and empower your customers to be able to do things on their own terms. Although we look at other industries for, for that kind of self-serve capability and, and how that's bringing improved satisfaction and, uh, and, and improve, improve resolution times. So you can start to bring that into your process. Anything that's accelerating the, the process is gonna drive customer satisfaction and ultimately customer retention. Brilliant. Brilliant. So we know you guys work in lots of other areas of industry and commerce, and it's always fascinating to see where insurance can take learnings from, from the, the wider global industrial sectors. Um, give, us a, give us a sense of, of some, some learnings that you've taken from your other verticals. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, that is one of the key, I'd say that's one of our, our key benefits is the fact that we do operate across multiple different verticals and obviously as a cloud platform we can take the requirements and the learnings from those and then deliver them across all of our all of our industry sectors um, one of the areas that we've we've been working on recently is with a global customer in the oil and gas sector um, so anyone who's you know aware of the oil and gas sector um, they they know that they certainly don't take um, you know safety is a key priority they, they, they certainly don't take that lightly um, and so they have very strict inspection process that, that, are, that are updated regularly with any of the new ideas and experiences brought in from the field. So that means that when an engineer is carrying out an inspection, they have to do so with the very latest information. Likewise, the, the quality of those inspections. So when an inspection's actually been done, they have to be sure that it's, it's a, been done to the right specification. It's a reliable and consistent inspection it's not reliant upon the the experience or the knowledge of the person doing it 
And so what this customer has done is actually digitize all of their processes. So their safety and um, uh, inspection processes have all been digitized. And they then leverage our technology to push that out in real time to the inspectors out in the field using a smartphone, a tablet, you know, a handheld device. As a byproduct of them doing that, what they've realized is actually they can leverage some of the resources that are already in the field rather than be bringing in an, an additional resource. Um, and just to put that into context, if you imagine a ins regular inspection that's happening out on an oil rig, actually bringing in a, a, an external resource to do that inspection, that's, that's a significant logistical undertaking. With a, with a lot of time and cost associated with it. So, so they're recognizing some significant business impacts from, from doing this. One other point uh, that, that, is, that is almost a byproduct of it is they've introduced a kind of ad hoc reporting. So almost like a whistleblowing process. Um, but if someone who's working on a piece of equipment or doing an inspection or, or you know, just going about their, their daily duties, notices something that they're not comfortable with, they've got this, they've got this immediate reporting function. Um, and so what they can do is, you know, select that option, do a, take a photo, take a video, short caption, short bit of detail and submit it. What that means is you've got an immediate action being taken in the back office, whether that's raising a, a, an immediate risk assessment, uh, uh, an, in, an inspection to be scheduled, work order. But ultimately, you're reducing the time to make that safety assessment and ultimately reducing the overall potential impact of any kind of issue. So, you know, from a safety perspective, they focused on safety up front, but actually in doing so, they've really improved the efficiency and the cost to support that. That's fascinating. Richard, that's been a really great insight into how video technology is so much more than taking pictures and how it becomes a really effective integrating tool and integrated part of the value chain from, not just for claims, but for the whole insurance solution. Really, really fascinating. Thanks so much for your time. Well, thank you. It's really good to talk to you.